So yes, I filmed the last video two seconds ago. <laughs> and I didn't change my hair, my outfit, my makeup. I'm sorry guys. I've been really struggling to, to keep up with a good posting schedule of videos. So when I'm here, I'm here. And I got 30 minutes before I have to clock into work. So let's let's just get right into it. The difference between interest and APR, not to be confused with APY, which I was confused with for like five seconds until I was like, come on girl, you're better than this. All right. So I'm going to go over the differences between interest and APR, which one's better, which is they're all, they all suck, right? So here, here's what it is about the very basic, basic definition and understanding. All right, so we're gonna start with the simpler one. Interest is pretty much the money that you're paying on top of whatever your principal is, which is the money that you have borrowed. It can be variable, so it can change from year to year, or it can be fixed, um, which means it'll never change over the life of your loan, and it's always represented in percentage form, so you'll have 5% interest, 10% interest, whatever it is. So APR is a little different depending on what you're um, borrowing the money for. You're going to see APR, which is annual percentage rate, and APR can include broker fees, it can include all types of other fees, it can include um, discount points, it can include whatever they're adding on top of that plus the interest on the money that you have borrowed so they usually represent not usually they always represent it as two different things so you'll see interest and apr for mortgages for car loans for credit cards which you know so let me break it down a little further now that you understand the basic main definition of what they are now, how interest is often calculated or presented to the borrower are based off of two factors. One, it's going to be based off of your credit worthiness, obviously. So the higher your credit score, the uh, lower your interest rate will often be. And that will have nothing to do with the APR. The APR won't even be a factor in that offering. Um, and whatever prevailing rates are going on based off of what's going on in the, in the government or the, the country, essentially. So that is how interest rates are calculated for your borrowing. APR is dictated by your lender, so it has nothing really to do with your credit worthiness, has nothing to do with your credit at all, actually, and has nothing to do with the amount of money you're borrowing. So APR <laughs> includes so many different fees, and that is why it varies, but the Federal Truth Lending Act, did I get that right? Federal Truth in Lending Act um, has made it very clear that the APR must always be presented whenever anyone is, is uh, signing a loan. So that's why it's important to look at your promissory notes on any loans that you're borrowing so you can see the interest rates of what's being offered to, offered to you based off your credit and the APR what's being offered to you or what's being given to you based off of all the other lender fees and things that are associated with who you're borrowing from. The last thing I want to mention when it comes to interest versus APR or knowing your interest rate and knowing your APR rate, you want to make sure that you know both so you can kind of shop around because different APR and different interest obviously will give you a different a different cost for the, the life of your loan. Um, how I like to think of interest is what my monthly payment is going to be and APR is pretty much the big picture of what the loan is going to cost me over the time of my loan or however I expect it'll take me because if I sign a 30 year mortgage I'm not going to take 30 years because you know you know how I do but that is something you really want to think about whenever you're borrowing money APR and interest are two separate things and they they give you a different picture of what your loan your borrowing life is going to be like one is going to be more for your monthly payment one's going to be for the longer life of your loan but overall loans suck they're a part of our lives. It's important to give ourselves knowledge of all the things involved with them. And that is what I'm here for. So make sure you subscribe and I will see you in the next one.